My name is Tom. Three years ago, I embarked on a new venture. I planted hundreds of trees to build my own citrus grove beside the marshes of the Little Geechee River. Now I spend my days growing delicious Savannah citrus. Hello, welcome to Savannah Citrus. Today, I want to talk to you about container health. Let's go inside the greenhouse. <laughs> oh. Safe inside the greenhouse. Here at Savannah Citrus, inside the greenhouse, we grow our citrus trees in these big blue tub containers. Container health concerns issues like bugs, decaying organic material, um, humidity. These are things that we can control to some extent, but if they get out of control, we have issues. My primary concern with these tubs inside the greenhouse is decaying leaf litter. The trees are constantly shedding leaves, and if I don't get these leaves out of the tub, I get issues like greasy spot. It's a disease fungus that grows on the good leaves, living leaves, and it comes from the dead decaying leaves. Not only that, it lives a very long time in the soil. Once it becomes part of the soil, it'll stay here till next year and I'll have these problems next season. I've got to address them today. Sometimes I have issues that are not really problems. I've got some of these small mushrooms, inkies, that are growing on top of the substrate. They like the pine bark that's in the tubs. They're not really an issue. And for me, they're a sign of a healthy environment. Here's another exciting project I've got going. I'm using this New Zealand white clover. I plant it in the containers to provide a constant, steady source of nitrogen to my citrus trees. Citrus needs a lot of nitrogen. Commercial fertilizer is expensive, and I'm trying to cut back as much as I can. What are some of the things you guys are doing to reduce your fertilizer inputs? I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, as always, keep it fresh, keep it local.